for the smooth deformers, let's go uh, grab any primitive that you want, drag it on your canvas, go into edit mode, go to initialize, or, I'm sorry, make poly mesh 3D first, and now when you go to initialize, you can make a Q cube. Let's go ahead and set that resolution to six. I'm gonna hit six, tab, six, tab, six. Hit enter, make Q cube. And now if we hit W, we can hit the gear icon. And let's start with a smooth all. So with smooth all deformer, you have one setting over here, and that is to uniformly smooth this object from all axes. If you go into the gear icon and you do the smooth deformer, now you can smooth from the top. So you can either smooth from the Y axis here, X axis on this side, the Z axis on this side, and you can choose to smooth this side a little bit more and this side a little bit less. And you also see you have a sharpen feature. To show that off a little bit, let's hit the comma key. We'll grab the dog Z tool. We'll hit W. Go in here and with the smooth deformer, you can choose to smooth just from this axis here. If you want to do it across axes, you can choose uh, X symmetry. So let's do X symmetry as mirror. And now we can just smooth along the X symmetry or we'll change the Y symmetry here. So now as we drag this inwards, or I'm sorry, outwards is gonna go ahead and smooth from those two axes. Also, if you drag the other way, it'll sharpen. So not only can you do a smooth based on your axis, you can also do a sharpen based on that axis. Or like we mentioned before, there is an overall smooth with smooth all, and now you can just do, you can either smooth everything all at once, or, and this one doesn't seem to have a sharpen feature, so you can either, you can just smooth everything all at once. And that's going to be similar to, again, the deformation menu over here. You can just do smooth on the X, Y, and Z axis, but it's not quite as responsive. This one's just a little bit more responsive. And if you ever get to a point where you don't like this, just go back into your gizmo here and hit delete, and you're back where you started.